Good morning, this is Cindy, and I am here to make our next tag for our challenge. Um, I've already gone ahead and I put my eyelid in, and the colors that Ann chose for this week are black, <clears throat> excuse me, black, gray, and white. And I just so happened to have it, I was glad I can't, I, I got them another challenge going on with myself to use what I've got and stay out of the stores. So I didn't have to improvise and I'm glad. Okay, I've already auditioned my material and here is what I have come up with. Um, this is actually um, got some bees on it. It's bee material for a bee journal I'm going to make. But I covered up the bees so we don't see them. And um, what this is, is this is, she calls it a kiss tag. And we're going to make an X with some fabric. And I chose the gray. And um, I think I'm going to pretty much lay it out like this. And um, when I get through, I'm going to add a little bit of um, lace and a few things. Got my timer out so I don't run over and lose the end of my video. Okay, so um, let's get started. Um, oh, and I wanted to show you something else with my trouble with thread and needles. Um, I found one of these in my sewing box and I ordered a package of them and they last a pretty long time. They're, they're more sturdy than the ones that we used to use that were the silver. And, uh, yeah, this works really well. Um. So if you have trouble threading your needle, uh, you can get these on Amazon. Just key in plastic needle threader, and they'll pop right up. And I think you get 20 in a package for $3.99. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, and another good thing for this one, is there's no um, crazy stitches. <laughs> we are just going to do a... Uh, <clears throat> You can do a whip stitch. You can do a stab stitch. I'm just going to do a little running stitch. And um, hopefully y'all can see. And um, yeah, I think this, I like this one. So, um, let me move that out of the way. And I left some uh, ruffling when I cut it, I, I really fringed it by hand. And uh, so it looks cute. And then I've got a little, I'll show you when I get ready. I've got a cute little thing we're going to put on here. I found it in my, in my stash bag. Now I'll tell y'all a little secret. I didn't have any black thread handy, so I am using a very, very dark navy. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, stitch down here across this lace. This one's going to be easy peasy, girls. We'll be on to something else long before the next one comes out. Because um, all I'm doing is doing a running stitch. Because you can't see it anyway. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn it. Let's see, I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to come up th this side. Just still with my, um, I'm going to have to backtrack one stitch. And then I'm going to, 
I'm going to also um, move my, knee, my uh, pen up here. Okay. Now I'm just going to keep on stitching. I think this is going to be so much fun. Um, Ann said that when we get through and all our cards, all our tags are on our card, that they should make a circle and it should stand up. So I'm thinking that is really great. I was first thinking about um, using my tags in different projects, but I don't know. That sounds, sounds really interesting to have our little tag book that stands up that's going to be quite an accomplishment so see some of you girls that were kind of getting stressed out last week we've got a nice simple one this week and um yeah okay now we've got that done and i'm gonna go ahead and um tie this off and um, okay see the back see the stitches on the back that's all we're doing and they don't show on the front so that's a good thing okay I'm gonna snip that off and um Next, and I also want this side kind of fringy too, so I'm gonna fray it. Then, when our little tag book is standing on its side, these these fringes will um, stick out, and that'll be fun. Okay, yeah, there's a little part of a B right there. I, I tried to get all the yellow not showing, so. Okay, now let's put the kiss on. And um, now the stitching on the kiss is going to show, which that is fine. I like that. So, um... Let's bring this up about right here. And the navy's going to show a little bit on this, I think, but that's okay. And um, I think I will just continue my um, running stitch. I'm going to have to stab it this time, though, because I'm going, I started the wrong way. I'm left-handed, and um, sometimes that tends to be a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. We're just going to, sometimes when you do it this way, it's a prettier stitch anyway, because you, um, I anyway, can get it more even. So, hope everybody's doing okay. Saw some of you girls on up in the cold country was having snow. And actually, y'all are sending your cold weather down here to us. We're going to be in the... Ah, uh, come on. We're going to be in the um, 30s next week. So that means I got to um, cover up some plants and bring some in. We've had a strange winter. We've kind of had um, a colder winter than we usually do. So. Oh, and something else I thought I would tell you about. Um, I saw this one night while I was um, just snooping around in um, Facebook, I mean on YouTube, and somebody, I don't remember who it was, but they had started kind of like a journal, a scrapbook type thing, and as they saw 
um, ideas, they would make one and put it in there. And that way, they um, could go back through and look at things that they may have forgotten. And she was actually working on a project um, that she pulled out of that book. So I'm thinking that um, it'll take me a while to gather some stuff, but um, I thought, especially when you went back, you know, a few years, that you can come up with some stuff that we've all forgotten about. And I thought that would be kind of fun. Okay, there's one half of my kiss. And here's the other half. And I think I'm going to bring it up like that, kind of. Um, I'm going to have to scoot over here with my thread. Okay, there. Well, let's see. I think I want some black showing right there. Okay. Now, we're just going to start right here. And we're just going to go straight up the middle of this side of the kiss. If you haven't been to Ann's um, site, you need to go. All you have to do on YouTube is just key in um, Ann 52 Day Challenge and all her fun stuff comes up. And she is... Um, quite an accomplished needle artist. So, um, I think it's kind of fun to be making things that she suggested to us. Because I'm sure all this, <laughs> even though we're having a little bit of trouble with, with some of them, this is all very basic to her, I am sure. So, um, Okay, we're almost to the end of the kiss. <laughs> um, Tracy's funny. Tra uh, not Tracy. Um, Roxy. Uh, Roxy Correction. Rachel. She, she's funny. Talking about auditioning her fabric. And I wondered where she, you know, kind of where that came from. But I found out it comes from Ann. She gets all her fabric out. And she auditions it to see which piece she's going to use. So I thought that was quite clever. Auditioning your fabric. Yeah. Okay. This is moving along nicely. Okay, now I had some of this, and it's gray, so I thought, oh, I'm going to make me a little, um, I'm going to fold some of this up and get me a little clump of it right here. And I'm going to put it right in the middle of my kiss. I thought that would be really cute. Okay, let's do that. Let me get a knot in my thread. Um, again, I want to thank everyone so much that supports me on my channel and um, watches my my videos, it means so much, and I just appreciate you so much. I hope that I give back half to you that you being on my site gives to me. I just really appreciate it. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Oh, okay. Let me tack that down one more time, and I think we can call that done. I um, ordered this pretty uh, eyelash trim that um, 
Got me a little knot back there, but it won't matter. With the um, sparkle in it, I ordered it for Christmas, and I don't even think I used any of it. I've got a little box full of all kind of pretty little um, eyelash trims. So, um, oh, that is, that is too cute. Okay. Now, the only other thing... Oh, wait a minute. I was going to put this here. Yeah. I'm going to put this little, um, I'm going to put this little piece on my white lace. I thought that would kind of, um, and I'm not, I'm just going to sew it down in the middle and I'm going to see if I can find a gray button. I haven't been able to find one so far. And I, so I'm going to leave this little spot open. And if I have to, I'll buy a gray, I'll buy some gray buttons. But I think with my huge stash of buttons... Um, I should be able to find one, but if I, I know I've got white, but I kind of thought a gray would be cute. So we're going to do that. And okay, snip this off. I really like that. That's cute. And then I'm going to put a gray button here. And then I think I'm going to add a little white right here. And I don't have any white thread with me, so we're. I'm not going to, um, I don't want to do that with um, black or dark navy. And I'm looking, I usually have some white thread, but it doesn't seem like I have any. So, um, this is what it's going to be like, and I'm going to put it on my tag, and then I'm going to snip the ends, and then I'm going to snip the end with the um, lace also. So, um, and I may even put... Um, I may put, I'm probably going to um, put two rows. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So that is going to be my finished tag. And all I've got to do is, um, well, some of my scissors have gotten real wonky. I don't know what the problem is with them. Okay, I'm just going to stitch those two down right quick. And, um. Put a black button, I mean a gray button there. Like I say, I haven't been able to find one yet, so I may I may have to buy one. But um, I think that turned out really, really good for a kiss. I really do. So, um, there we go. Okay, and then I'll attach this to the tag, and we will be ready. And uh, since this was so quick, we will um, be ready for next week in just a little bit. That's driving me nuts, that poking up there. I'll put some water on it and um, dampen it a little bit, and it'll lay down. Okay, ladies, there we go, and I hope you like it. I'm going to go um, get some white thread right now and stitch that on, and I'm going to try to find a, um, try to find a button, and um, I will have this video up for you. And um, until next time, y'all stay safe and well, and I love you. Bye-bye.